hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video i am going to discuss the principle of ultraviolet and visual spectroscopy and in my previous video i discussed the emission and absorption spectroscopy and this ultraviolet and visual spectroscopy is a type of absorption spectroscopy this spectroscopy is also called as electronic spectroscopy because it involves the excitation of electrons from the ground state to the excited states okay and in electromagnetic spectrum uh, this ultraviolet region extends from 100 nanometers to the 400 nanometers and visible region extends from 400 nanometer to the 800 nanometer okay and this ultraviolet region has further been, uh, has further been divided into two separate regions and the first region is called as far ultraviolet region and it extends from 100 to 200 nanometers whereas second one is near uv region and it extends from 200 to 400 nanometers okay and this subdivision is very essential due to some practical reasons because at 200 nanometer or below 200 nanometers oxygen starts absorbing the uv radiations and we will not be able to differentiate that whether our organic compound whose structure we want to determine has absorbed the UV radiations or oxygen has absorbed. Okay, so measurements in this region are done by flushing the instrument with nitrogen. Then the oxygen will come out of the instrument and the nitrogen will be present inside it. Okay, and however, uh, below 150 nanometers, nitrogen also starts absorbing UV radiations. So, for the measurements below 150 nanometers, uh, we need evacuated instrument that is instrument uh, must be free from any gas there must be must not be any gas there must be complete vacuum and some vacuum techniques are also required in this case that's why the reason below 150 nanometer is called as vacuum reason understood so here i have given you an idea about the ultraviolet and visible reason in the electromagnetic spectrum so now let us discuss the principle of UV visible spectroscopy. But before that, if you have not subscribed my channel, then please do subscribe and also like and share my videos. So now let us start the principle of UV visible spectroscopy. So friends, when an ultraviolet or visible radiation is passed through the solution of an organic compound, then that radiation is either absorbed or transmitted depending upon the wavelength of the radiation and the molecular structure of the compound. And due to the absorption of energy, electrons are excited from the ground state to the excited state. So here we have a ground state having energy E0 and excited state having energy E1. Okay, so now let us explain this principle diagrammatically. So here we have uh, an ultraviolet or visible radiation having wavelength lambda. And this wavelength or this radiation will contain large number of photons. And let us suppose that energy of each photon is equal to h nu. Okay, and this h nu is further equal to hc upon lambda. And when this radiation is passed through the solution of an organic compound, then the photons present inside the radiation will collide with the molecules of the organic compound. Okay, and all these collisions does not lead to the absorption of energy or the absorption of photons. Okay, only those collisions where the energy of a photon exactly matches with this energy difference that is delta E and this is equal to E1 minus E0. Okay, so only those collisions in which the energy of a photon exactly matches with this energy difference will result in the absorption of energy or the absorption of photon. Okay, so I can write that for the absorption to occur, delta E must be equal to the energy of photon that is H nu or Hc upon lambda. Understood? Now, if the number of such collisions, that is the collisions where the energy of a photon is equal to the uh, is equal to this energy difference. So, if number of such collisions are more then large number of photons will be absorbed by the organic molecules or the organic compound. And then we can say that this uh, wavelength 
has been absorbed by this organic substance to a greater extent okay and in this case the transmitted radiations will have less intensity because the large number of photons will be absorbed uh, absorbed by the organic uh, compound and if number of such collisions is less then the lesser number of photons will be absorbed by the molecules of the organic substance then the transmitted light will have more intensity and we will say that this wavelength or this radiation it has less absorbance okay and what we do in the ultraviolet or visible spectroscopy we pass different wavelengths one by one through the solution of an organic compound okay let us suppose that first we pass the radiation having wavelength lambda 1 then wavelength having uh, radiation having wavelength lambda 2 lambda 3 and so on okay then what we do we measure or we note the absorbance of these wavelengths and the wavelength which has maximum absorbance or which is maximum absorbed by the organic compound is called as the lambda maximum of that compound understood and this lambda maximum is the characteristic of that organic compound and with the help of this lambda maximum we determine the structure of an organic compound understood and uh, this equation is for the absorption of uh, one photon because one molecule will absorb one photon and if you want to calculate the energy absorbed per mole that is energy absorbed by the one mole of the organic molecules then we have to multiply this equation uh, with the help of Avogadro number because the one mole of an organic compound it contains Avogadro number of molecules so the energy absorbed energy absorbed per mole will be equal to Na where Na is the Avogadro number into Hc upon lambda. So this is the expression for the energy absorbed per mole. Okay and I will discuss uh, this uh, principle in more detail when I will, I will discuss the instrumentation of uh, UV visual spectroscopy and I will also discuss that how we record the UV visible spectra of an organic compound okay so friends uh, this is all about the principle of ultraviolet and visual spectroscopy and in my next video i'm going to discuss very important absorption laws that is lambert's law and weir's law and these laws are very important and very interesting and very useful to study the uv visual spectroscopy and in that video i will also discuss the terms like absorbance and the molar absorptivity so please keep watching my videos like and share my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.